Ryoko is a third person martial arts game which features the theme of Japanese combat. In this game you are playing the role of Ryoko, a samurai who came to Rome, a kingdom which is cursed by the blue moon, in order to find her grandfather. This kingdom is filled with dangerous people who have lust and greed for power. The kingdom has several regions to go through. This game has the player to fight against ministry hunters, these special hunters who have some sort of a special ability and they should be defeated in order to get to the ministers. Now each ministry hunter take almost like 4 hours to spawn and they can only spawn in the battlegrounds. During the gameplay you will meet characters like gatekeeper who gives you a specific task and if you do his task he will open the gate which will help you to go further in the game. Now there are fiery demons in this game who can only be defeated through stealth mode and can kill you in one hit if they spot you. There are different kinds of swords for the player to use, the katana, dual katana and heavy katana. Dual katana has the speed advantage that means it can deal faster damage and the heavy katana deals more damage. There are elixirs of different types which can be found by destroying trees. Each elixir has a specific effect. Players can also get guns and shurikens and bombs to make the game a little easier. Each gun has a different type of bullet that can be used and each bullet has a different type of ability. The map will show you the places of interest and the fate tree will show you the amount of enemies you have to kill. The game story is unfortunately very complex and confusing and it is not much to be honest. It really feels like that the developers were not very productive with the story. All there is in this is that you left your family and came to Chrome. You killed ministry hunters and ministers and then rescued your grandfather. The reason behind the complexity of the story is that the game keeps on bending things. Like when you meet Taguchi sensei Ryuko asks, father is that you? That actually keeps you shaking your head that whether Taguchi sensei is her father or grandfather. Or if it is her father then who was the main guy from the first episode who got the letter of Ryuko and because of that the complex is the complexity builds up. Now the concept of Yurami is also confusing for early players. You can get Yurami by converting them from Shinju and you can get Shinju by defeating enemies and you can upgrade your skills through that. The weapons have a durability limit and they should be repaired in the smithy shop and they also can be upgraded or sold. The world of this game is pretty good. There's not much detail but the town and deserted castle and the mangal woods are really amazing. The combat style of this game is the reason why I loved this game. This game features a solid Japanese combat style in which you have to dodge the opponent's attack and you can counter it. There is also a finisher move which can kill the enemy instantly after some time. This game kind of have the resemblance of Sekiro as it has shrines to rest and save the game. Now in Android games you don't see much of these games who have these kind of Japanese combat style. So this is a completely new thing for me as I started playing this game. There is also a specific difficulty now as there was not there when I started playing this game for my YouTube channel. There's also this game called Takashi Sensei, Takashi Ninja Hunter was made by the same company Horizon Games but that was not as fun as this game in terms of combat. Now another problem is that there are a lot of crashing that happens in this game and it is really frustrating. Your character crashes in the middle of nowhere and you have to exit the game and then play from the last save which is frustrating because of the difficulty of battles. Yes, some of the battles are really really difficult in this game and sometimes even if you dodge at the right time you get hit which is frustrating and the enemy's damage is very very big like they do lot of damage. The final verdict I'm going to give that this game might have mastered in the combat but because of lack of detailing in the game, crushing of the player, complexity of the story, this game has declined pretty badly. I will recommend this game to only those who like Japanese combat game and not to those who love fictional stories as there are other games which have better stories than this. And after the killing of Ministry Hunters, you can get towards the ministers and you can fight them. However, they are not much of a threat. I mean, their battle really made me sad like the battles are pretty easy compared to the ministry hunters and the ministry hunters were way more deadly we fought way more deadly than the ministers after researching thoroughly and playing this game again i'm giving this game 5 out of 10 i know that is 
way less than world war polygon the game i reviewed before this but this is what this game is getting this game is literally average and only combat is something that i will recommend this game to you otherwise yeah this game cannot hold on anymore thank you very much for watching this video guys also side note there is there are chests that you can find so thank you very much for watching guys if you love this video make sure to like it share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much for watching guys take care everyone and bye bye